fuck it, we're doing it live. So after watching the last video that I made a response to, um, and I made the response, I, I just, it got me thinking about a number of things, and one of them was, uh, I can't remember his name, but he and I, in comments, uh, have talked about uh, how it would be interesting if, you know, he thinks it would be superior if we had computers uh, replacing the government with computers. And I mean, maybe we haven't talked about it that much, but it's at least a, at least a couple times anyway. And uh, I always think it's interesting to think about the ramifications of that and what all that would entail. And uh, you know, I don't, I don't really think that would be superior. I think it would. I mean, unless there's this, unless we end up finding at some point that. Technology-wise, we can actually only go so far. Yeah, we can continue to make certain things faster, but there may be this point where we realize, oh, there's not really much more we can do, is there? You know, and if we reach that point, then you know, this, these these are the things we can do out, right outside the planet. These, this is what we can expect to do. You know. Uh, uh, during the time that we're living, you know, we, we would be capable of going to some place and back maybe, you know, but as far as uh, any of these, these Star Trek-y, Star Wars-y kind of uh, fantasies, it's just like, no, it's other fantasies. Um, but, uh, you know, finding that, you know, we, we, we only get to this one point when it comes to technology and so at that point you know it would be feasible for computers to be running everything um, but what would be interesting is geographically where people would call their home could be uh, based on uh, a demographical sort of thing. I mean, with all the data we already gather about people right now, uh, you know, when I say we, I'm also meaning what companies are able to gather. You know, what companies are able to gather, what the government is able to gather, stuff that people share on Facebook and other social media, um, buying habits, um, even at grocery stores. I mean, a lot of the grocery stores have those cards and it keeps track of the things that you've bought you know all these different things uh i mean if you've seen the movie ex machina you'll know kind of where i'm going with this um as far as you know how much data can be gathered about people and so it would have uh i mean there'd obviously have to be a different area for uh you know, well, this is the gay area, and then, well, it's kind of bisexual, and then it's, I mean, wherever it is, you know, uh, uh, it, it, geographically, everyone is placed geographically based on the things that they, uh, they f statistically find important. Um, and <laughs> I'm almost thinking like Dark City kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, there would be no more, uh, the goal would be to make it so everywhere feels like a neighborhood that you can feel proud to be in. Um, I mean, you're free to travel wherever you want, but, you know, where you consider your home, it's like, well, this should be, this is where you need to be. Because, uh, you know, all the demographics down to little bitty things, uh, you match this. Um, then the work that people do, the work that people do would be based on uh, constant tests of the types of things that they are good at. 
and everything is about refining that and homing in on that. And they would move around to different jobs based off of uh, uh, skills acquired. And eventually you're working something that, I mean, you're, you're, you, you do an amazing job at those things because of the way that you think. And, you know, for things like, uh, it would be also like uh, exercise regimes for, uh, you know, the, some jobs would, would they be, the, the whole point uh, is, well, not the whole point, but some of the point is to make sure that everyone at least remains active in some way. Um, I don't know, it's just a weird, weird thought. Definitely kind of a dystopia, but it could be a utopia based on, uh, uh, you know, I mean, a society that, that lives like that would, uh, would look at it positively. Um, it'd be like, well, we're doing what we can to keep society going, you know. Anyway, 